So what we're doing here is flattening down the old blackberries that are growing over the mine waste, the mullock heaps of left behind by the gold era. And what that does is compact down the living blackberries that are growing over the top um, and uh, create a humid environment, especially over the next summer, where all the old dry canes that are underneath start rapidly decomposing. And what that means is we turn the blackberry from being a really serious fire hazard to actually a living mulch on the ground, which is not a fire hazard at all, and it's accelerating the soil building process. But the way we developed this technique uh, uh, more than um, a decade ago was we found when we tried to cut holes in the blackberry and plant trees in a huge pile of blackberries, in the summer the blackberries would grow over the top and uh, smother your tree. Whereas if you got the same blackberries down to the ground as this living mattress, then you could plant in amongst the blackberries and just come back once or twice in the summer and walk the blackberries down. The advantage of this compared with cutting all the blackberries off is a huge amount less work. It's much more fun as long as you're well armoured with gloves, uh, preferably double pants, um, uh, uh, gum boots, and then you need a tool in, in a way, I mean this is a fire rake or rake hoe that we use for all sorts of work in the gully, but you can even use just a stick because all you're doing is laying it on the ground um, and uh, standing on it so you don't fall through the blackberries and once you get it down a bit you can walk on the whole mattress. You can also see in this a whole lot of gorse. The blackberry has killed most of the, uh, the gorse. It's the pioneer that first comes, very fire hazardous plant but a fantastic soil improver, bee forage but it's now time to get the succession going to the next stage. And so the, we get all of that down on the ground, but we don't try and get rid of the blackberry because all you get then is grass. And grass is a fire hazard every year. And actually, if you want to plant trees, the blackberry is a much better place to get trees established. So you can see Adam bouncing on the, on the blackberries there. It's sort of um, uh, a huge mattress. And the ground's really uneven underneath because it's all mullock heaps of um, stone left behind by the gold miners. There's really no soil here. But when we get into these old heaps where they've been for many years, you get the big native scrub worm in with all the compost in between the piles of stone, new soils being created. And then what we're planting is not more fire hazardous trees like eucalypts uh, because Apart from the fire problem, the eucalypts don't provide enough shade to shade out the blackberry. So really it's deciduous trees in these moist systems that will do that. And we can already see the willows along the gully here. These are cricket bat willows um, here. They're a non-spreading willow that has a high timber value. Um, and underneath those there is a carpet of blackberry only um, you know, this deep and yet that has never been cut uh, in there for 10 or 15 years. The other species that are coming through naturally here is hawthorn uh, and elderberry, these two uh, leafless uh, shrubs. Um, the elderberry is a, a fire retardant, shade tolerant understory of European forests. Uh, of course it produces an edible berry and the flowers are edible, very good soil improving plant. The hawthorn is um, uh, actually manages to suppress the blackberry not just because of its shade when it becomes a decent sized small tree but it allopathically suppresses the blackberry. Its leaves actually uh, stop the blackberry growing. It's a medicinal plant, uh, it's also very fire retardant, it's extremely drought hardy and it's one of the best timbers we have for making tool handles. So we have our own supply of tool handles. Further across there's another deciduous tree emerging which is a cherry plum. Just the common garden cherry plum always produces uh, good fruit. Um, again it's, it's low fire hazard, drought hardy and suppresses uh, the blackberries.
Um, and further round again, we can see an apple tree up under the yellow box tree. You wouldn't think an apple tree could grow under a, a, a eucalypt. Up there, this side of where the goats uh, are grazing. Uh, that apple tree was just a little whip sticking up through the blackberries uh, 15 years ago and we just got in and cut the blackberries off and that was enough for the canopy of the apple to get away and shade out uh, the blackberries and that produces very nice uh, apples. So that's the basic technique and of course all of these, this method is an alternative to noisy machines uh, which you, are no fun on a working bee um, and of course they're the real alternative to the horrible default ways of dealing this which is herbicide and, and or burning which um, are both massively contribute to greenhouse gas emissions and um, reduce the soil fertility and lead to all the soluble ash that washes into the creek. So um, that's the basic technique that we've developed in um, the gully here uh, and there's more information on the, the Spring Creek uh, Community Forest uh, uh, page on the uh, Holmgren Design Services website.